Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. In this video, I'm going to check out this standalone video recorder, digital video converter that was sent to me by Cloner Alliance. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's standalone because it doesn't need a, a PC or a Mac to convert your videos. I checked out a few other YouTube videos about this product and a lot of them demonstrated how you can use it for other type of things besides converting video. Like it says on the box, video game capture, digital video recorder, online video recording, screen recorder, and it also has instant playback. But what I want to do is see how it converts my eight millimeter tapes using an eight millimeter player. So let's open up this box and get started. The first thing I want to do is check out what is in the box. So I have my trusty knife here. As you can see, I haven't tried this before, so it's going to be interesting. Looks really well packaged so far. It uh, transfers 1080p 60 frames per second, so that's good. Okay, so at the very, very top, it has, uh, looks like the instruction manual. And here's the main product. It's smaller than what I thought it was going to be. So here it is, a Cloner Alliance. Uh, on the side, it has HDMI right through here. Source, snapshot, record. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, we got a remote power cord. That is useful. Here's an HDMI to hook up to a TV. And here is some cords that you can hook up to HDMI. Uh, you can also hook it up to an old school PC adapter. And here is a USB cord that you can probably just plug right into the computer. So let's figure this out. I did take the liberty of getting everything set up and ready to go to be able to show you. I think the most important thing at the moment, the remote control, there is a sensor right here. So in order to really use the remote control, you have to aim it at the sensor. You can't work it from behind. It won't work that way. So the initial setup, let me just unplug everything at the moment, is on the side here, you have your USB port for your flash drive. That just plugs right in. Now I am using an XFAT flash drive, but I believe you can use a PC formatted flash drive as well. And I think a Mac. So on the front, you have your source button and you also have a snapshot and record and a stop. So you can basically operate everything for converting analog off this without using the remote, pretty much. On the back, you have your power supply and you have your HDMI out and your HDMI in. And this is called an MMI in. And this port is what you're going to want to use for your analog. So, Here's my HDMI and it is going into my television so I can see what's going on. So we're gonna put that to the outsource in the back. Let's also get this plugged in. So you can tell that it's plugged in and it has power because the little cloner is highlighted green. So here is our HDMI that's going to go from the camera in. And like I said, you need to use the MMI in to make it work. And it has all these different other cords that you can plug into as along with the uh, uh, back of a PC here. That's like an old school. And then I'm using the analog uh, RCA yellow, red, and white. This is coming from 
my player. And what I had to do was use this little adapter, this port here, to plug in to go out of the audio video from the camera. So now that's all said and done. This cloner is now turned blue. So it appears to me that it's ready to go. So if I hit play, I should be able to get a picture. Okay, there it is. Let's turn it down. I just got done shooting this video outside. On the remote, at the very top, you have your source, your HDMI, VGA, the uh, YP, oh, what's that? YPBPR, and your AV. You can also hit record and stop on your remote as well. And it has the playback functions, things like that. Another important thing is I shot this in four by three ratio, as you can tell. If you change it, you can change it to 16 by nine if you're shooting 16 by nine. But because I didn't, I wanna change it to my four by three ratio. Now this is all going to capture as an MP4 file. Now what you can do is hit the record and stop right on the box. See right here it says record, so it is recording. And you also have the option on your remote to hit record and stop. You can tell that the unit is recording because see the cloner is now flashing blue. Okay, so for all intents and purposes, I'm just gonna stop, hit my remote. Now it's saving. I'm gonna hit stop on my camera. So it does say saving right there. And as soon as it's done with that, it's gonna say no signal. We can go to our remote and we can hit playback. And it says select storage device. I'm gonna hit the okay button because it says USB. And there it is. You hit play with your okay. There it is. Let's make sure we have audio. We do have audio. That's pretty cool. Spiders. Skeletons go all the way around. Also on your remote, you have, you know, your typical remote options, fast forward and rewind, and you can also delete your program if you want as well, if you're not happy with it. So on your remote, you're going to have this option at the bottom of the screen that keeps wanting to always disappear. And then right now I'm in fast forward mode. Then I can click to rewind. And it's gonna rewind it. And then here's play again. You also have your previous and your next if you have a lot of files on your flash drive as well. So that is about as easy as it gets with this Cloner Alliance Box Pro. Uh, it records directly to an MP4 file on your flash drive. Like I said, there's no need for a PC or a Mac with the editing capture software. You can just buy this, but you know, of course you need to have an operating player, whether it's an eight millimeter player or it's a uh, VCR. Now I do have the link to this device in the description of this video going to Amazon to be able to purchase it if you would like. And I also have a link to the Cloner Alliance website so you can do a little bit more research on this product to decide for yourself. Remember, if you do decide to click the link in the description to purchase it, you will be helping support the channel by doing that. Just wanna let you know.
you know, if you don't have the time or you don't have the means, you don't want to purchase something like this, I would love to be able to help you out. You can contact me at info at coloradospringsvideo.com or you can go to my website, coloradospringsvideo.com. I do have a special order page on that site where you can fill out the type of media you would like to have transferred and then you send it to me and mail your media. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. And I give the Cloner Alliance Box Pro a, a thumbs up. It's pretty slick. Really nice picture and sound.